Hello? Hello, Mr. Rhodes. My name is Roy Millard. I work for the Wellsmith Police Department as a homicide detective. According to our records, you are the sole inheritor of the Rhodes Mansion, which is located in the town of St. Rhodes. Have you completed the takeover of the property? Oh, um, this is news to me. I, I hadn't been informed about inheriting any property. I see. The problem is, we've discovered a connection between your house and a previous case I investigated almost ten years ago. I need you to come to the Wellsmith Police Station to provide some information and grant authorization to search the building. When you arrive, you can also sign some legal paperwork to formalize your ownership of the property. Sure, I can do that. Uh, but I'd like to view the property first. Okay then. I'll be on my way to the town right now. Let us meet at the mansion entrance. All right, detective. I'll be there in a few hours. Okay. See you then. Hi, friends. Lunacy at St. Rhodes, the demo. You know, Next Fest is going on and all these game demos and this one looked kind of interesting. I thought maybe we could try it out together and see how much I can screw up. <coughs> okay, WASD. Okay, that's good. Uh, do we have a flashlight? Oh, we do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to slow my mouse down just a little bit there. I'm guessing since they got us facing this train, is there a run? Yeah, there's a run, okay. It feels strange to be here after more than two decades. Nice move. Read the journal I, is that what it said, or J? J. Okay. Homecoming, arriving at the Mellon County House of St. Rhodes. My name is George Rhodes, a sole survivor from the doom that came to my hometown of St. Rhodes in 1957. A madness that ended up with the slaughtering of most of the town's folks. A massacre brought about by something truly evil that had been loose in a godforsaken corners of the earth. My step-parents forbade me to go to this damn town whatever the reason might be. Nearly two decades later, I broke my promise and here I am. To be honest, I don't know how I feel about this. The only thing that I'm sure of is that I will find the house of St. Rose and discover my own place within this, this appalling history. Hey, there's a little heartbeat on the left side of the screen. Does my mouse show up? No. Anyway, left bottom corner, see that heartbeat? Turn page. Okay, so I'm gonna guess there's nothing else there. Okay, close. Exit keep out. So I can tell you right now, friends, if I knew that history, I'm going to let the state take this place, and I don't care if I make any money off it. Yep. Is there, is there a crouch? Control? Control crouches. Okay. Space? Nope. No jump. Is there a C? Nope. C doesn't do anything. That's probably a werewolf uh, deer, right? Or were deer? You can open and close doors with the left mouse button. Okay. Okay, well, that was pretty smooth. That worked all right. Uh, control to crouch, right? The little time I spent in the house of St. Rhodes, I have only unpleasant memories. Recently, I've started having nightmares, like faint visions. I'm sure they're about my experiences here a long time ago. I spent part of my childhood years in this godforsaken town, until I was forced to leave due to a terrible incident. Well, a massacre. Several residents were killed. I thought I heard something.
Oh, no. Of course, it's I starting to, to rain. Great. Look for shelter from the rain before I catch cold. It's a shovel. I see the handle now. Okay, all right. Okay, I guess I can't use it. Yeah, if I had just experienced what he's talking about, I'm not coming back here. Oh, that's really nice looking, isn't it? Is that a log thing, but you hear? Okay, I got to clean glasses off again. There we go. about here? What do you think? No? Hmm. Now see, I would have thought that had been the perfect... Okay, I'm pretty sure they don't want us going that way. I see another gate. I'm not getting a hand signal from anything, so maybe those are powder kegs and we can set them on fire. Oh, wait, what's this here? Oh, no, something just showed up. Okay. <coughs> Block. Block. No, no shit, Dick Tracy. Captain Obvious is loose, it looks like. Can we get through the window? Oh, how do you like that shit? How do you like that? Yeah. You guys uh, are hello? probably yelling. A anyone home? Guess not. Yes, yep, yep. Just... Now, were those candles lit when we looked in here? I don't think they were, friends. There's candles lit there. Where's the detective at? New rise of lunatic asylum. The righteous path. Okay, that's hard to figure out which way to turn that. Okay, that's it. We could set that on paper on fire, then we could, uh... Another thing I think is a dead giveaway. If you come into a, your neighbor's house or something, they have paintings like that on the wall. Yeah, get the frick out now. You know, I mean, leave. Yep, you don't need to be there. like that, you move. You keep on moving, you don't come back and see these people put your house on the market. Oh, well, we got a, a 
a blocked door, so I bet we have to go upstairs. What do we got here? Nothing. Okay. Can we close it? Oh, cool. You can close it. All right. Now, can I crouch to see if there's anything in there? Yeah, I can. Nice. I mean, it looks great. You know, the, the atmosphere and... Uh, it's not annoyingly noisy. I mean, other than maybe the rain. Some of these cigarettes? Yeah. Some dice? Is one dice dice? Or is dice a pair of dice? Yeah, how, do, how does that work, friends? I've always wondered. Guess there's nothing in there. You have to turn on or off. trying to I guess it don't work okay hmm. locked find a way enter the navigate your way through the village enter the town of St. Rose find a way to open the jewelry box okay sometimes I wish they would put those tips you know on um, instead of the corner of the screen maybe make it a little more Kind of like where you're looking, you know what I mean? Okay. But that's just me, I mean, you know. The doors work really smooth. You know, so many games, the opening of the doors is just a pain in the rear end. There's something glowing over there. There's a key. Alright, so let's... What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, shit. Looks the key to a small box. Did I get into my inventory? Now let's go see if we, if we still got it or if it just dropped to the floor. Okay, that brings up the items you have in your inventory, okay. Okay, that's nice. They do that for you. I like that. Okay, I like that. Oh, wow. I guess we're actually not supposed to read that, because... I'll leave it there, friends, and you can try to read it. Something about various accounts, something, 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 something. Oh, okay. Found a missing page. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to read that. Oh, what's this? Ooh, a pulsating jewel. To equip the crystal, open inventory tab. A curious like an armament of crystal that gives off the impression of having some kind of secret power. Equip. Did I equip? I guess so. I mean, I'm clicking. We must must have let some demons loose, friends. Call it Cthulhu, 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 who? Cthulhu. The call of Cthulhu. I discovered a map of the Anderson house. What was that? Oh, a chain. Okay. After equipping the crystal, hold and release the charge button to activate it. After equipping the crystal, oh, okay, all right. 
Okay. No idea what we just did, but we we did something. Okay, well that's pretty that's pretty easy. I don't know what I was doing wrong the first time, but Yeah, there's some Call of Cthulhu shit going on out there, friends. <laughs> Let me get a drink of tea before I die. I see the crystal shows you interdimensional objects that you can use or pick up. Hmm, I wonder when you're supposed to try that. Maybe that shit wasn't going on outside the house. Maybe it was upstairs with us, huh? Should we try it again? I wonder if this thing out here looked like some kind of weird bone thing or what we saw over here. Do you think that's an interdimensional object? This weird thing? What do you think? Or is that a wood pile? Maybe that's just a wood pile. It's hard to tell. See, this is where I would like to have some intervention from the game to, to say you should look over here before it bites your face. Hmm. We could be here all night. Um, Try and um, what we're supposed to interdimensional with. I, mean, I guess that is just a pile of wood. Now that I see it, look like to me that looked like eyes and a, and teeth and interdimensional objects. Uh, what? What do you think an interdimensional object looks like? window go out this side nope interdimensional objects that you can pick up oh here oh I wonder what door it goes to be careful the use of crystals may attract interdimensional entities well thank you for telling me that after I sit here and charge this piece of shit up nine times and Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Captain Obvious. Uh oh, eyeballs. I see you. faster than that. Ah! I 
missed. Okay, I guess that's as far as we're going to open it. Do you think that key was supposed to be an interdimensional object? Because, I mean, do, do you need a key if you're going interdimensional? I mean, oops, what was that noise? This is probably the back of the gate thing, but you get right, yeah. But she sure sounded like somebody walking up behind me. Well, atmosphere-wise, yeah, we figured that out with earlier. Uh-oh. J. Reed Journal. The abandoned village. It seems that after a terrible incident, St. Rhodes is entirely abandoned to its his fate. St. Rhodes. There is something heavy in the air that pervades the entire force, an ominous feeling that is forcing itself to manifest. Some of the buildings are on the verge of collapse. They don't seem to have more than a year left in them anyway. I should keep the noise down since I'm not in civilized world anymore. There might be wild animals in the ground. I don't want to attract their attention. Okay. Now, see, they could have made this a little easier to read, I think. That's, you know, my humble opinion. They could use one of the read buttons, you know, where you get the, the really cool view here, and then you hit the read button, and it brings up a nicely, easily readable, you know, text document type thing. Yeah, okay. So I should keep it quiet. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Oh, is this, what, what is this? Read? Well, damn, look what we found here, friends. So we need to go to our left and go down that path to get to the Rhodes house, to the main gate. Is that what we got to do? So we want to go this way. No, I guess we can't go that way. I should find another way. Yeah, no shit, Dick Tracy. Now I gotta see that map again to see where I'm at. Oh, it looks like I need to go down to my right. Or, yeah, right, right? But how do we get down there? We go down here, and then we go to our right. I already thought we had to... Oh, we do have to go inside of the look. Okay, I don't know if I really want to go inside of there or not. Come on. Damn it. Okay, well, we aren't going in there, that's pretty sure. There are so many missing posters with dates on them. There might be a connection between these in the massacre of 1943. I should find another way. I should find another way. Okay. Um, the stagger shadows activate your crystal around them. I think we died. I think they sucked our soul out through our bunghole. Yeah. And that's as far as I'm going to go. I mean, I've had fun. It's nice. It's a good little demo, but I don't want to start all... Well, I don't know where I'm at, but... I don't know if I want to... Um, I 
I don't know if I want to try again. I mean, this is the way we're supposed to go, right? Oh shit, here they come again. Oh, there's a whole shitload of them. Okay, maybe this is the end of the demo. I don't know, so. Anyway, it's not bad. I like the art, the sound effects. Doesn't sound like he, he, he's dying a peaceful death, though, does it? All right, friends. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed this little demo.